I got into the chainsaw business uh, technically because I got tired of pushing the Bushman saw back and forth through the wood. At first I never dreamt of selling them. I thought that was beyond my capabilities, but uh, uh, after uh, using them for about 20-25 years, the opportunity came up and I started in selling home lights. From home light we went on to every major brand that was and made in the United States. Uh, most of the chainsaws that I have in the museum are uh, trade-ins because we always accepted trade-ins towards a new saw. After being in sales for a considerable amount of time, uh, many people were bringing an oddball saw and wanted me to have it. Some of them didn't really recognize what they really had. And uh, they, some of them went out of their way to make sure I got them. Probably the most interesting one was uh, the one that I pointed out to you overhead. And in order to get one of them, you had to uh, uh, buy a Caterpillar tractor and it had a generator that they mounted on the fender the shelf of the D4 tractor and uh, they'd run it off the PTO and then they had this big two-man saw uh, and uh, really they must have used the same things in the tanks when they came to these trees when they landed at Normandy because uh, it was not built on the very same idea. Now today the chainsaw has been almost replaced uh, uh, for the, the big loggers but uh, they still have them on the jobs because there's all the time this particular tree. Tree don't grow to fit the mold and they try, man tries to make machinery to fit the tree and it's an almost impossible task because there's always that one tree that will fall in the right category. Yeah, so, uh, but uh, no, the chainsaws will, are here to stay. You'll be using chainsaws now as long as I think man is cutting wood. <laughs>